Okay guys, uh, today's video is going to be the uh, setup and programming of a Garmin GPS 18X. Um, it's a pretty small unit here and uh, when it comes uh, straight out of the box it only has a small uh, tiny little Molex connector on it. Um, so the first thing you need to do is decide what kind of uh, connector you're going to use for your assembly. Uh, whatever project you're working on and go ahead and um, put a, a connector on the end. For my project that I'm doing I'm using a six pin DIN connector um, to um, to do the project but uh, I have the uh, the male side here on the end of the uh, of the GPS and what I've done is fashion up uh, a little pigtail with the uh, female connector here, the female DIN connector, and I have it going to this little uh, um, board. It's a little, uh, one of these little prototype boards just where I soldered the wires together that are all coming. I'll show you the schematic here in just a second, the pinout that you have, and uh, just give it a place for the, um, for the uh, wires to meet here. I have it broke out into two separate uh, outputs. I have the uh, DB9 serial cable here that'll go to my COM port uh, on the laptop and I also have a, uh, a USB cable here that I'm getting the uh, plus 5 volts to uh, run the uh, GPS. Uh, the GPS, uh, it, I think the specs are like 100 milliamps uh, for the, uh, the operate, normal operation and uh, the LED is another uh, 20 or 30 milliamps on top of it. So it's still just a, uh, a very small current, you know, uh, less than two tenths of an amp of current. So you don't need a, a big, um, um, worry about a high current USB. It can be a small wall wart or even just your USB port on your uh, computer that you're using uh, is more than adequate. The, but um, I put the uh, LED here for the one pulse per second uh, output and uh, I just noticed that um, it really helps to get a visual that the GPS is up and running uh, when it's when you don't have the LED hooked up it it just really uh, makes you um, just question everything so I just uh, put the LED in there uh, it's not needed but it's it's a feel-good thing for me um, but anyway, I'm going to go through uh, the uh, setup now uh, of how to construct the little adapter uh, cable here. And um, I'll show you. So it unplugs. Um, here's your, there's the DIN connector there. Let's see if I can get that to focus here. No. And uh, here's the female side. And here's the little board. With the LED that I had so um, yeah just be advised when the uh, GPS first uh, gets powered up um, it, it'll it take a good 15-20 minutes uh, for it to get a lock uh, on where it's at it, it, it starts off on the other side of the planet really as I've watched the NEMA sentence output and it's it's a uh, very far away away from here uh, I can say that um, but um, yeah give us some time uh, you'll get your one pulse per second before it'll get a good location lock so don't let that don't let that uh, lead you astray either uh, just keep an eye on your NEMA sentences um, you'll, you'll see them kind of going along with almost uh, no update at all in the location all of a sudden out of nowhere it just it'll start coming on uh, the other thing too is, and I'll, I'll show you when I go into the hyperterm, that the, um, the Garmin puts out a, a little sentence that tells what version software it's running so you can know whether you need to do a firmware update or not uh, before you have to go through the trouble of messing with it. But okay, this is the, um, this is like I said, the, the initial setup. I'll go into the construction of this board and then how to get into the programming of the Garmin here to adjust the sentences and baud rate. So stand by for that. Okay, here's a, here's a schematic of the adapter board here. Shows I've got the uh, DB9 for the data. 
and the USB cable here for the uh, power. Um, it draws very little current. It's only like uh, 120, 130 milliamps altogether with the LED here. Um, so very, very low current draw. No worries about that. And uh, I'll just leave this up here for a second. Take a screenshot of it. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and go into it uh, just like it's brand new out of the box. I'm going to uh, show you how to program uh, first uh, how to read it and then look at it uh, with uh, with hyperterm and then uh, go from there. So let's start off with uh, just looking at it uh, on hyperterm to see, to see uh, to confirm that it, it's working and, and what that looks like. So uh, let me come into hyperterm here and fire it up. And we're going to uh, move this over here. Let's go uh, cancel. Move the box over here. Okay, we're going to open up and we're going to want 4800 GPS. And here we go. And yeah, there is our Cinesis coming in. And you can see uh, uh, everything looks good. And these are, this, like I said, this is the standard uh, setup uh, coming, uh, coming out of the box. So when you first hook it up, you can hook it up to a hyperterm here. Um, like I said, I got 4800 uh, N81. And uh, yeah, there it goes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 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 disconnect with this and we're going to go ahead and we can minimize that we'll come back to it uh when we're done here but um let's go back to uh the um the garmin and enter into the programming mode um by the way you can't have the it the comp port can only be used by one program at a time so make sure uh, uh you close the hyperterm before you try to get into the uh, programming so we're going to come over here. When you first double click it, it'll give you the, uh, you pick your model. We're going to be 18X uh, LVC over here. So we'll go OK. Let me uh, increase this some more so uh, it's easier to see. The default baud rate uh, on the uh, GPS out of the box is 4800. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to COM set up we're going to select com1 and we're going to go manual 4800 okay we're going to connect it it says connection success we go okay now we're going to read the uh, configuration from it and we want to go yes and no and now it's going to go in and get all the particulars of how it's configured. And there it's done. Now we can go in and change. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to first uh, uh, change the NEMA sentences. And I'm going to come in here and all I want is GPRMC. I don't want these other ones. So I'm going to turn them off here uh, so that the only one selected is GPRMC. I'll go OK. And you can see the uh, selected sentence is down to one here. And I also want to change my baud rate to uh, 19 2 so that I can uh, use my Arduino. So I'm going to come in here and go config sensor configuration. And this is where I'm going to change it to 19 2. And uh, see, we already have it comes with the pulse per second already enabled. No other changes we need to do here. So we'll go OK on that. And now we can come and send the configuration to the GPS. And it's sending configuration. Uh, if everything goes good, this, this box just goes away. You'll see it do this last thing and goes away. And there it went away. Now uh, we, uh, and we can go disconnect here. And because we changed the baud rate, we have to uh, power down the GPS and power it back up for the uh, uh, 
new baud rate to take a effect. So we're going to unplug. I just unplugged the power from the GPS and I'm plugging it back in. And here comes my uh, one pulse per second back. So I'm back up. So now I'm going to come back into my COM port and I'm going to go set up. And now I'm going to change this to 19.2 and go OK. And now I'll reconnect. And connection success. Well, I've already detected at 19.2. So I go OK. And um, so everything's good to go there. Um, 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 it's configured the way I want it. It's got the new baud rate going on it. So all I have to do is go disconnect over here and I can uh, finish up and close it out. And I can save changes if I want to, I'll go no. And now uh, what I can do is I can go back into Hyperterm and um, change the, let's open it. And now we're going to find the 19.2 GPS and open it. And there it is. Now we're getting the uh, GPRMC only. And that's uh, once a second. And uh, now it's ready to uh, feed the, uh, the Arduino. So, um, okay, there's your, uh, there's your setup for it. Uh, I was going to go into the... Uh, the firmware updater but it's it was really confusing and not necessary it had the updated software it's been several years since they updated so I'm sure any new one now has the updated software so it's not even worth the hassle of messing with um, other than that uh, that's uh, that's about it so I hope this helps um, in the uh, project of getting the radio GPS system going all right we'll talk to you soon